Hello all. Uh, this video is going to be on uh, XFCE for desktop and the upcoming, hopefully the upcoming release of uh, version 4.12. Uh, it's been uh, targeted for release uh, the end of February uh, 2014 or maybe the uh, beginning of March of 2015. I'm sorry, not 14, 2015. So I have uh, XFCE for desktop um, here on my main system and also in virtual boxes as you can see here and uh, this is the uh, XFCE version 4.10 uh, however um, if you've been following along or if you use XFCE uh, some stuff has already been uh, implemented uh, such as the updated uh, Thunar file manager so if uh, you open that and go to properties it has a progress bar uh, showing you how much uh, disk space is being used in uh, that particular folder. So if you're like me and you're uh, impatient and you want to get a head start, you can get a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like by uh, downloading some packages and a bit of compiling is involved. Uh, but uh, it seems uh, fairly stable and uh, you can try it out in a virtual machine so uh, that's what I'm going to step through in this video okay so moving on um, I have a SourceForge page and just to upload things uh, I pre-compiled the uh, Arch Linux 411 from the Arch Linux user repository uh, so I don't have to compile them um, all the time but the packages I think there's eight in total so if you wish, you can download from the link I'll provide it in the description, or you can uh, use the Arch Linux user repository and uh, compile them yourself. Okay, so uh, once you have it extracted, just open the folder, and there's eight items. And you can uh, open terminal here, and just, uh, I'll zoom in here, uh, just uh, type in sudo pacman dash capital U, and then an uh, asterisk all uh, dot t a r dot x z or z and press enter and you answer yes not t <laughs> y for yes for each package and so you're going to basically eight times going through this and then of course uh i would strongly suggest to do a restart of the, the system or the uh, virtual machine okay so after restarting uh if you look at the desktop and the panel panels, uh, you can see there's a difference already. Um, to me, it looks a little more uh, pleasing to the eye, I guess, but that's your uh, you know, personal preference. Now, since uh, we're going to compile some stuff, you can do this as an optional thing. Is just open a terminal and uh, type in sudo and whatever editor you're using. I always use leafpad. So sudo gedit, sudo nano, nano, or whatever you want to use. So sudo editor <laughs> slash etsy make pkg dot app press enter and as I said this is completely optional but uh, I assign this uh, virtual machine six cores you go to here uh, this is reminiscent of uh, compiling in uh, Gen two this is make flags equals I un un uh, uncomment that. And I put in, I have six cores. The rule is to add one to the number, so it'll be uh, J7. And you can also use the uh, temp directory, so basically compile in memory. I have four gigs assigned to this. And there's other uh, compression options here. Uh, you can read about those on the Arch Linux wiki. Okay, so here's the news. It's on the, uh, I went to the blog, xfce.org blog. Uh, uh, it says right here, a date has been cited, 412, released at the end of February 2015. Uh, let's move on to the fun stuff and compiling. Uh, it says core apps, uh, access CE for panel. We already have that uh, if you use the uh, developer packages from the user repository. XF uh, window manager, access CE window manager is, you have to watch close at the links. It's under the development of version of 4113. Uh, but uh, this is supposedly is pretty close to what the final 412 will be. So you can download the tar vzz file. 
and uh, just you just go through. I'll just go through um, and grab the uh, like XFCE for settings and so on, and then uh, we'll go through compiling it. Also, I should mention uh, we don't need the XFCE for panel. That's also been updated. So whatever you have uh, in your downloads folder, I downloaded each package mentioned on the page where I've uh, just shown you. And you can uh, pretty much uh, compile and use it to whatever order you wish. The, probably the most dramatic visual change will be the XFCE for the window manager. Uh, but there's a few other things, session, task manager is nice. XCOMP is optional and so is the GTK engine. But uh, I'll compile those. So I'll just step through one process of compiling and then I'll just do the rest and then we can look at the changes. Uh, another thing, sorry, I'm so sorry, there's so many things. Another thing is make sure you have the base devel packages installed on Arch Linux uh, for uh, this stuff to work. So here's the uh, code and it's very simple, you just uh, open the terminal here and the usual step through process in Linux is uh, you just uh, run a slash a dot slash config configure and I'll go out and uh, show you any messages such as right here your init international tools too old I think so you just uh, highlight that copy and then sudo pacman dash capital s just an alias pack and download and install that and then uh, just arrow key up and just run the configure again and it should uh, come back without any uh, messages, nothing flagged as being uh, needed. All right, so there we go. Now we just issue the uh, command make, and you have to give that some time, and that's why I changed the uh, make package configuration file, so hopefully this will go a little quicker. Okay, and the final uh, command to issue in that directory, oops, is to uh, sudo make install and that should copy the necessary libraries and stuff over to your system okay so all the packages have been compiled as you can see uh, each folder has been extracted and there's 12 items all together uh, in this downloads folder so obviously the next thing to do is just uh, restart the system and uh, we'll have a look at potentially uh, xfce version 4.12 okay so finally the moment of truth, uh, this is hopefully uh, what we'll see uh, next week. So we'll go to Settings Manager Appearance, and now you can see Styles now has a preview as do the icons, as you can see here. Uh, window Manager, drop frame and cycling, but we'll go to uh, Compositor. And now there's a new setting, Show Window Preview in place of icons when cycling, so you check that. And we'll just close this. I'll open uh, a couple of the terminal and the file manager. If you press tab, you see there's uh, previews and also this big frame around that. So you can turn that off. So back to your settings manager. Draw frame. Mm -hmm. and close and we'll try this again. There, that's better. It doesn't have that big frame around it. But uh, that's kind of a nice look for the uh, task switching. And under Applications, uh, System Task Manager, this has been updated. You can see it's a uh, new GUI. And also, when you close it, it no longer stays in the task, up here in the task. You can change if you like that. Uh, go back to that. That's right here at the bottom, miscellaneous. Hide into Notification Area. If you check that, you close. Now close this. It's right there. You can see it. And there it is there. You just sign a keyboard shortcut like control delete or whatever uh, to bring this up. So again, as I mentioned, there are some things that are uh, uh, newer versions, uh, such as the screenshot manager, the plugin, the whisper menu too has some updates in it. So I'll download and uh, install those and we'll take a look at those two things. And you notice here it says uh, host on imager or you can save it, copy the clipboard, or save, or open with. So you host on Im Imager, and it uploads the screenshot. Uh, the dialog comes back with uh, 
links to a full size large thumbnail and uh, codes for HTML and DB on the form. So I will look at the large thumbnail and it'll open your default browser. And there's large thumbnail on there's the address and so on. And whisker, this whisker menu, and you right click, you go to uh, properties. This is really neat. Background of opacity basically, so you can drop that down to 80, for example, and you open whisker. And you can't see it as much, uh, probably because of the wallpaper. But this here, um, you see the user, you click on that, it's looking for a mugshot, but I couldn't get that to work in uh, Arch Linux for some reason. Uh, more from the Whisker menu settings, so the edit profile mugshot doesn't work, unfortunately, so you can untick stuff you're not going to use, like switch user or lock screen or whatever you want, and flows. You can have it uh, positioned the way you want it, so... Now you have the logout button and you're right to your settings, all settings manager here. And uh, another thing, uh, there's a there's a lot of changes. I don't know if I can cover them all or remember them all. Uh, it's when you finally, uh, what I like is when you hover up to the top of your screen, instead of going like a quarter, half, top, half screen or whatever, it actually goes uh, to a full size now. And also, um, instead of, in it, not in setup, but as well, you can go to the core size screen like you would in, uh, say, comp is. And you, know, you can also go with the split screen view as well. And so uh, that's a nice change, especially this maximize. And there is an option to hide the title bar when it's full screen. The only problem is you, not a problem, but you do have to do a good alt space and uh, Toggle maximize and unmaximize. All right, so there we go. The pretty much the final uh, product of uh, <coughs> excuse me product of this video, and uh, obviously I downloaded an icon pack and uh, used a GTK theme configuration uh, editor to change the panel and stuff. And uh, you can drag and drop your uh, documents into the sides. One thing neat too is you can uh, show and hide certain items like net, real use network you can hide that as well f9 so it's all just uh, the basic window or the uh, side form if you wish and so on so that's it uh, xfce4 uh, hopefully um, by next week xfce4.12 and all the uh, nice updates and things that have been included and uh Hope you found this video useful. Any comments, uh, obviously, feel free to add. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.